I've been a bar here for about 15 years, different owners, and uh, it took about 10 or 11 months to get all of that out of here. Uh, we had to redo all the wiring, all the plumbing, uh, everything that we knew we needed for the space that we were going to do, we had to do ourselves. And uh, it took about 11 months to get that taken care of. The initial idea was <clears throat> really to bring live music into town, not, not just this location, but to inspire more people in town and more clubs in town to book live music on a more consistent basis. Um, put some money into a sound system and a, a sound guy. Walk off five of them! Get it. I was a student at Clemson and I switched out of engineering about two years ago and I've been doing the, their production studies and performing arts major which was brand new as of three years ago or something like that and they have a music emphasis in that and that gave me a chance to get into the recording studio and record a couple of short things in there and then after a year of doing that a friend of mine told me about a place called The Joint and that they needed a permanent sound guy to come in that could do it every night so they wouldn't have to keep finding people at random to come in and do it. And I had never run any live sound before, but uh, Trevor, the owner, he came in and said that uh, he'd love to give me a shot and see how it worked out. There was no you know, contract basis or anything. He just wanted to see what I could do, and he'd let me know if he wanted to keep me on later. And it's been a year and six or seven months now, and I've mixed over 150 different bands, uh, some really great ones, Perpetual Groove, which we're hearing right now, and it's been a lot of fun. It took us a long time to build the joint, but of all the things that we did, this is the stage and it's the first thing that we built. All over. Uh, we've had the Benevento Russo duo from New York, uh, Particles from LA, uh, Dirty Dozens from New Orleans. We get Green Lemon from Colorado, I mean, definitely from all over.
So they have their own uh, publicity uh, companies that they outsource. Uh, some don't, but either way, they just send their flyers here, and me and the street team will go out around town, put up flyers. Uh, we do an email list. Uh, you know, hand out free CDs, do whatever we need to do to make sure people know about it before they get here. Show day, the band, bands usually typically show up around 6 o'clock uh, in the evening. Some show up earlier and get set up, they call, prearrange it. But as soon as they get here, they load in, uh, get all their equipment set up on stage. Our sound guy comes and just gets that whole side of the thing taken care of. And, you know, anything they need, that's what we're here for. We, take good care of them, probably more than our customers sometimes. One of the hardest things for a striving band is probably having to learn to work with other people uh, because everybody thinks in different wavelengths and uh, it just takes a while your people skills to really get used to learning how to motivate people to get things done and uh, learn how to be effective at the same time. The benefits of having a bar like the Joint in town are that you can, you're having a musical venue that's also a bar but it's more than just a bar. I mean. You see the live stage, I mean, you see the sound system when you walk in and you know that this is not just a regular bar, this is a place for music. And also it's bringing new bands to town, so that's causing more people to get interested in music and it's, it just has a, a great reaction, a great effect. Definitely a place like The Joint does uh, help you gain a fan base because a lot of people come to The Joint to hear live music and they might not even be from this area. I mean, they might come from Atlanta or Charlotte or wherever, and if they hear a band they like, you know, they're going to follow and they're going to come here. For the most part, the joint is above and beyond what you're going to expect on a level like where we are. Would you say it's like a musician-friendly kind of bar? It's a musician-friendly, definitely, type of bar. I mean, the people are nice. I mean, the, the atmosphere is comfortable. And, uh, I mean, you can't really ask for more than that, especially in this business.
the only thing that we left intact in the whole place. Uh, it's also the only way that we actually make revenue through alcohol sales, all the other uh, admissions fees, um, 100% goes to the band. So for us to make money, it's all about that. join is because I'm a school teacher and after a long hard day at work I like to come here and grab a beer and unwind and not think about the stresses of my day. It's a great place. After a long day of class it's a great feeling to be able to come down here and hang out. It's a great atmosphere to enjoy a drink with my friends. It's kind of relaxed from the long day. And they have great music here too. Before the joint came in I'd have to drive to Atlanta or Charlotte to see my favorite bands. Now every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday I can come here in town and listen and I've been exposed to a wide variety of music that I've never been heard of before until the joint came into town. I think if you ask anybody that plays music of any kind, that the stage, whether it's a small little club or Madison Square Garden, is the best uh, learning and development tool. There, there is no other place for any musician, I think, to really find their own voice, find their own style, because it is that interaction with the audience that's, that's most important, I think. By something that I know the artist has, feels themselves. And when they've done that live and, and with audiences, that's when they're going to feel their own things, their own music, their own uh, concepts. And that's what can move you. It's not just a polished song or a polished guitar line, cello line, whatever. Those things are very easily done in the studio. Um, it is the live experience and the, what's learned both by the audience and the artists through that process. So the joint and hopefully other clubs out there will continue to just be a place where somebody at their inception is, is really kind of learning the important things and then, you know, who knows, years from now they can be and would deserve to be, you know, uh, known and, and appreciated.